That's the whole object. That's what we want to do. That's the, the, the passion of, of saying to someone, we want you to learn from this experience. Mm -hmm. um, writing the column over the years got me a lot of attention from people who, I, I started writing stories of people who had, you know, who were victims. I was hearing from people all the time who were people of, who were victims of crime like I was. Yeah. I, you know, I wasn't really a victim of a crime. I think I stopped it before it became a crime. And that's what it's all about. It's to go it home is, in one piece. It's total prevention. So I started writing. I started writing these stories of people, and they they really hit home. One of them was my cousin who was abducted at gunpoint, wow. lucky to be alive, and and others. And, you know, Lee's story that you, that you reference is in the book. It's in your second book. Yeah, it's in the second book with Rob Pinkus. So it, you know, we decided look, let's make this a lesson. Let's teach people. Mm -hmm. Let's let's inform people that you know, real life. It, it, you're, there's evil in real life. And it may confront you. So if it does, how can you be prepared for it? So that's the whole premise of the book, the radio show, the magazine column. Politically, it's, it's taken a little bit of a turn, particularly this year because of the politics. Mm. You know, we've got terrible enemies of freedom that are trying to take away our rights. Absolutely. And I've become a, a very vocal and uh, in many circles trusted mouthpiece because I have the microphone. The right. show has grown. It's on hundreds of cities around the country. That's and awesome. as a result, a lot of people turn to you for advice and assistance, and they they want to know, hey, thank you for being a voice. That you you feel like I feel, and you say the things that I think about, and that really matters. It hits home when I get those emails. Oh, it, abs it absolutely does. It absolutely does.